certainly think the trial team is going to be looking into everything that they can do to either circumvent that or um, accommodate that in another way. I think it's um, a bit strange that this judge is trying to do everything he can to hurt the president financially, despite the fact that there are no victims. Uh, the banks did not lose money. The banks were fully repaid with interest. There was there was nobody who was harmed by any of these transactions. And then the, the judge takes this egregious step to say he can't uh, use New York banks or New York funds, knowing that as a New York businessman, he has money in New York banks. So right. um, I, I, I personally think it's a bit of a, a stretch and overreach. Why does he care where the money comes from as long as it's from a lawful source? Um, but they're doing everything that they can to hurt the president. Yeah, of course. Uh, let's play a little bit of his comments. Big rally in Michigan, very well attended despite the freezing temperatures. And we also know we're days away from the primary there. Early voting underway. Big auto union state. Let's play this clip for you guys. The judge, one of the least respected in New York State, said that Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida. Now, you don't really know too much about it, but it's very valuable real estate. Let me put it that way. Was worth $18 million in order to try to make his case. By doing that... He put the values way down. He tried to make his case when, in actuality, it's worth anywhere from 50 to 100 times that amount. This judge, he gagged. He doesn't want me to talk. You're not allowed to talk because when you hear me talk, you'll say, oh, wow, this is a corrupt system. Not one case was ever brought like this in the history of New York State. This is the only one. I wonder if they were doing that for political purposes or for election well, I think Governor Hochul's comments, Tom, are noteworthy because she says other businesses don't have to worry. Um, you know who is speaking up? Besides the truckers, we saw an auto worker come on the stage there saying, I support Donald Trump. And now there's this GoFundMe fundraiser, which says uh, $300,000 as of last night has been donated to pay for Donald Trump's legal bills. You know, uh, it is amazing to see the reaction despite uh, Letitia James trying to revel in her verdict on Friday, Tom. Yeah, absolutely. He has an enormous support, unlike any other president in the television era, maybe even more than Reagan. And so the, these cases demonstrate to the people who aren't being listened to. Remember, his movement started with the Tea Party movement, which started with Washington not listening to everyday Americans and not helping them. And that has just grown and will continue to grow. And I put a piece in Newsmax after the last election saying the reasons Trump got elected still remain because Washington still is this oppressive place to American business and the everyday person and Trump still champions them. And as long as he continues to do that, he's going to have this kind of support. He is. And uh, we're seeing it. Uh, obviously, South Carolina, the next big state, um, and Nikki Haley still holding on for Saturday. We'll see what happens there. Uh, guys, I want to talk a little bit about a big week for House oversight. James Biden is coming in on Wednesday for his transcribed behind closed doors interview. A week uh, later, Hunter Biden will come in. There are questions about how the president's brother used his influence, Christina. Politico has a piece up talking about how uh, Jim Biden made uh, a lot of money in a rural health care provider. Uh, AmeriCorps now accused of $100 million Medicare fraud in that case. There's also talk about the FBI um, in the past, um, you know, playing a, a role in sort of secretly uh, video audio taping some of the conversations that he was having um, with a bribery investigation into a Mississippi trial attorney who gave $100,000 to his a consulting firm. What do you think we'll hear uh, from when this uh, interview goes down about the president's brother? Well, I, I can't wait to see what they're actually able to extract from him. I have no doubt that he will be very well prepared for this interview or deposition that he's sitting for. Um, but, you know, the, the House Oversight Committee has come up with a lot of information and a lot of documentation demonstrating that the Biden family has been uh, engaging in what appears to be corrupt business dealings, peddling influence, selling access to their office. Uh, and so I think it will be very hard for James Biden to um, lie about documents, lie about tapes, lie mm -hmm. about physical evidence. And so uh, I don't know everything that the House Oversight has at this point, but I hope that they are very well prepared to um, box him in on the evidence that they do have, because that's that's going to be the only way they're, they're going to be able to trap him, because he'll, he'll lie about everything else. Mm -hmm.